Welcome back to my channel. Hey, today I'm reviewing Psycho, uh, and I know I said I was gonna do The Godfather. She believe that's out of focus. I know I said I would do The Godfather in the next one, but life happens and unexpected circumstances get in the way. And um, I went into my uh, cinematography class yesterday, and uh, the guy started playing Psycho, so I was like, okay, cool, I guess I'm watching Psycho first instead of Godfather. So there you go. I've seen Psycho before, I absolutely love it. I've read the book, I watched Bates Motel. If you haven't seen that show, oh, it's a masterpiece. One of my favorite shows of all time. You have to check it out. If you're a fan of Psycho at all, you've got to watch it. Freddie Highmore plays Norman Bates, like, spot on exactly the same as in Psycho. Like, they look, they act like the same person. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, here's, here's my crazy story of the day. So, yes, I'm filming this the day after I watched it. So I walked into my cinematography class yesterday. And he star we we um, basically introduce ourselves for an hour, and then he says, "Okay, we're gonna watch Psycho now." And I'm like, "Dope! I love that movie." So we watch it, and then come today, I'm also in a film watching class. Basically, we watch a, a movie every week, and I kind of analyze it, write about it. And this guy goes, "All right, boys, we're watching Psycho." And I was like, "Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I watched that yesterday. I don't I don't want to watch it again." It's two hours long, I don't want to watch it again. I literally just saw it. Can we see any other movie? There's billions and billions of movies. Why do we have to watch the exact same one I watched yesterday? But then he pops it in, and he starts giving details about the movie, and I'm like, holy crap, this guy knows a lot about film. Obviously, he's a teacher. And But he starts like talking about all these like this symbolism and these details about the movie, and I'm like, holy crap, this is awesome. And we only got ten minutes into the movie, and he, but he, he, he like, paused it every like 10 seconds and just loaded it, like every shot with details. He was like, there's this, 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 this means that. Boo, 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 boo. Look at all this symbolism. Look at all these details. Alfred Hitchcock's a genius. Bam. And I'm like, wow, this guy's awesome. I love this class. I can't wait to uh, watch more movies. And so next week we're going to um, finish Psycho. And uh, so that'll be cool. But this video is not about my college experience. This is about Psycho, the movie. So I'm here to talk about it. As I said, I've watched it before. I absolutely love it. Um, if you don't know, it's about a man uh, named Norman Bates. Well, really, it's about Marion Crane. And that's the uh, crazy thing about this movie. It, the first 40 minutes are of Marion Crane's perspective. She's the main character. And then, I mean, spoilers, obviously, but who doesn't know how Psycho happens? Norman Bates stabs her, kills her. And, uh, yeah, it's a crazy movie. Um... The first 40 minutes might be my favorite, just the, all the character moments of, of uh, Marion. It's a completely different movie. Once you meet Norman, the movie completely changes. The first 30 minutes are, are like a, um, not really a heist movie, but just this woman trying to steal the money so she can have a better life and try to hopefully marry her um, boyfriend eventually. Get him out of debt and have a better life with him. That's that's basically she's on the run. She's trying. She's really jumpy, nervous, hiding from cops and stuff, trying to get away with stealing these forty thousand uh, dollars. But then once she goes to the Bates Motel, obviously she meets Norman, and the movie completely changes. She dies, and we meet Norman, and we learn all about his whole life. And um, yeah, it's just a fantastic movie. And uh, probably my favorite part of the whole movie is. I mean, probably everyone's favorite part of the, the ending scene, just him, or I guess her mother, talking to herself. And the final line, why he wouldn't even hurt a fly, or she wouldn't even harm a fly, and he looks up at the camera like that. Oh, I get chills. I'm getting chills just thinking about it right now. It's so good. And then the shot of him, the pulling at the car, and you're just like, oh, God. And then, and then it ends, and it's just, it's just fantastic, through and through. Um, probably my one flaw with the movie is not really Alfred Hitchcock's fault. Um, it's just kind of the stabbing, the shower scene. I mean, and it's fantastic. It's one of the, it's a classic scene. But it is a little cheesy. You have to admit, just the knife stabbing into her. You, there's like no cuts or anything. And she, when she dies, like I mean, she she plays it well, and it it looks good. But she, I mean, there's literally no blood on her. I mean, she just got stabbed to death, and there's no blood. And obviously, that's because First sensors, second, um, you know, you just can't make it that realistic at that time. It just can't be done. And then the second scene, uh, when um, mother uh, stabs the um, detective, and I'm pretty sure she like stabs like right here, and then it cuts to his face, and he's got blood on his face. 
and then he starts falling back, and the seat is cool, but it's just a little cheesy. Sorry, don't hate me, but you have to admit, it's a little cheesy. Uh, that's literally my only flaw with the film. It's near perfect in every other way. Uh, so I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Next, I'm actually going to watch The Godfather, unless some other movie comes up, but that's the plan. Watch The Godfather. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and uh, peace out. Ba bow bow bow